Nagbabay ka na ba? Hoy! <laughs> Ang dami natin ngayon sa studio. Oh, ba't ang kikialam ko doon sa Instagram ko? So, nagpost ng picture kong selfie. O, oh, diba? Okay, or... Mm. <laughs> Sana may unlike button yun, no? Para dito sa... Mabuhay, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Mega Manila at World. Ngayon po ay araw ng Webes, ikadalawampotwalo ng Agosto, taong 2014. Simula na po ng pagbabago. Simula ng pagtaha sa tweed na landas. At samahan niyo po kami sa susunod na isang oras. Kita yung kamay mo, ipasok mo ng ganun. O, oh, di ba? Ayan. <laughs> samahan niyo po kami sa susunod na isang oras. Ito po sa inyong alternatibong newscast sa hapon. Ako po si Snow Balua. Siyempre, sa amin kayo ang nasusunod sa mga balita. Nalalam namin na kahit sa dyaryo, ito yung unang binubuklat. Ako naman po, si Meg Siozon. At ito po ang... Inyong paboritong PTV Sports. Sa ulo ng ating mga nagbabagang sports balita. DOC President Jose Pipinco Huanco Tinawag na diskriminasyon ang tila double standard na trato ng mga organizers ng Injun Asian Games sa Gilas, Pilipinas Kia Motors play coach Manny Pacquiao Sisikaping kuning import ng Sorrento si dating Los Angeles Lakers Latman Ron Artes Pinoy Boxing Pride Nonito Donaire Jr. Pinangalan na, na ang susunod na makakaribal ah. Roger Federer Lumarong inspired dahil sa presensya ng kanyang childhood idol na si Michael Jordan Yan po ay mga headlines pa lamang, detalye ng mga nag-uumusok na sports balita, narito na Narinig din po tayo ng live sa DCSR Sports Radio 918 sa snowbalwa.com at napapanood worldwide via internet streaming sa www.ptv.ph Nagpakawala po ng warning shot sa Injun Asian Games Organizing Committee o IAGOC si POC President Jose Cojuanco. Ayon kay Cojuanco, diskriminasyon ang ginagawang pag-single out ng IAGOC sa pag-question sa eligibility na lumaro ni Nagilas Pilipinas stars Andre Blatch, Jared Dillinger at Gabe Norwood. May report si Ms. Arian Maliare. Malakas ang kutob ni POC President Jose Pepinco Wangco na maaaring may mga individual ang gumagalaw para mapahina ang men's basketball team ng Pilipinas sa paparating na Asian Games sa Incheon, South Korea. Sa kanyang lingguhang programa na POC Hours sa Sports Radio 918, tahasang inilabas ni Kuwangco ang pagdududa sa maaaring panggigipit sa Pilipinas ng isa sa mga miyembro ng Incheon Asian Games Organizing Committee. Direktang tinutukoy rito ni Kuwangko ay ang tangka ng Asian Games Organizing Committee na huwag pahintulutang lumaro para sa Pilipinas ang mga key players na sina Andre Blatch, Jared Dillinger at Gabe Norwood. Liwanagin nila mabuti anong rule ang gagamitin. Ano? Dahil bakit pinumapayag ang FIBA for the World Championship pagkatapos dito sa Asian level, bakit bawal? Ano? Kaya... Yun ang, yun, ang, yun, ang, yun ang sinasabi ko, but uh, is there any, any reason behind this? No? Kaya't panawagan ni Kuwangko na way bigyan na ng maayos ang tugon ng Olympic Council of Asia ang Pilipinas sa kung paano tutugunan ang issue. When they disqualify a player, which is they disqualify at this stage, of the, at this late stage, ano, pwede pa ba siyang palitan? Kasi natapos na listahan eh, no? Uh, yun, yun ang mas importante eh, na... How far will they go? How do we do we enter the the tournament with less number of players than 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 allowed? Samantala, nangako naman si FIBA Asia Secretary General Moing Martelino na gagawin nila ang lahat para maipasok sa gilas roster sa Ashad si Blatch na tila binabalingan ng nit-nit ng Korean organizers. Ang Olympic Council of Asia, actually kung titignan ninyo yung rules ng Olympic Council of Asia, kinuha nila sa IOC. E eh, sa IOC, ang sinasabi ng IOC, mag-aantay ka ng 3 years only if you played for your previous or another country. But if you've not played for any other country, hindi mo kailangan mag-aantay ng 3 years. O, ang, ang sinasabi ng OCA ngayon, basta multiple nationality ka, Whether you played for another country or not, maganda ka ng 3 years. Labag naman sa IOC, sa IOC regulation siya. Kaya ang sinusunod nila IOC eh. Tapos sinusuwag nila ang IOC. Eh, ewan ko na. 
Sa susunod na buwan ay tutulak patungong South Korea si Philippine Sports Commission Chairman Richie Garcia upang kunin ang final na desisyon ukol sa eligibility ni Blatch maging ng dalawa pang miyembro ng Gilas Pilipinas. Para sa PTV Sports, Arjan Malyare, Telebisyon ng Bayan. Samantala, isang dating controversial NBA cager naman ang inaasinta ni playing coach Manny Pacquiao para makatuwang ng Kia Sorento sa kanilang inaugural season campaign sa PBA. Narito ang report ni Ms. Rajal Adora ng Leverdad Christian College, Caloocan. Hindi pa man nagsisimula ang first conference ng PBA, mas lagpas pa rito ang tingin ngayon ni incoming Kia Sorento's playing coach Manny Pacquiao. Sa isang panayam, sinabi ni Pacman na kapag nagsimula na ang Import Spice Commissioner's Cup sa Hunyo, maaaring kunin niya ang kaibigan at dating controversial NBA star na si Ron Artes. Si Artes, na ngayon ay kilala na sa pangalang Meta World Peace, ay naging bahagi ng 2010 champion team na Los Angeles Lakers. Pero ito ay kasalukuyang lumalaro sa isang liga sa China. Ayon kay Pacquiao, sisikapin niyang kunin si Artes na import sa second conference na ang height limit ay nasa 6'9". Samantala, buo naman ang kumpiyansa ng magiging kakampi ni Pacquiao sa kia na si Paul Sanga na magagawa nilang bumuo ng isang dissenting line-up. Giit ni Sanga, maganda ang direksyong tinatakbo ng ensayo at tryout ng Kia Motors. Oh, maayos. Okay naman. Ma, ano. Paano man nasabi? Kasi sistema naman. Kaya hindi naman para-para. At sa prospect ng kanilang playing coach na kukunin si Artes bilang import, labis ang katawan rito ni Sam. Masaya nga si Edwa, NBA player yun. Saka may pangalan. Sa kasalukuyan ay nasa proseso pa rin ng pagbuo ng line-up ang Kia, na ngayon ay hindi pa rin nakakasama ni Pacman dahil sa ito ay busy pa sa promo tour ng kanyang November 23 fight kontra Chris Algeri. Para sa PTV Sports, Rajel Adora, Laverdead Christian College, Kalaokan, nag-uulat. Sa PBA pa rin, may hamong ipinupukol naman si Blackwater Sports Elite Team Owner Juseldo C. Sa ilan sa mga players niya ngayon sa kupunan. Matapos po kasi na makakuha niya sa Ever Belena franchise, sa mga dating Ateneo Reserves na si Nawami Chongson, Frank Golia, JP Iram at Bacon Austria, tiwala si C na magiging factor ang mga ito. Partikular na ang kanilang championship experience sa maiden season campaign ng Blackwater Sports Elite sa PBA. May report si Ms. Ria Arevalo ng Sports Radio 918. May mabigat na hamon naman si Blackwater Sports Team owner Giselle Desi sa isang kulutong ng mga players na lalaro para sa elite. Ayon kay C, nais niyang ilabas na mga dating shock troopers ng Ateneo ang kanilang winning philosophy. Kahit pa katapat na nito ang mga kanilang dating starters sa PBA. Nakuha kasi ng Blackwater Sports sa nakalipas na rookie draft si Nawami Tiongson at Frank Golia. Habang matagal nang nag ensayo sa kuponan si na JP Eram at Bacon Austria. Sa ano awan mo? Nailabas yung laro? Oo, oh, dapat ilabas sila. Di ba? Yung tama yung sinulot mo. Yung kung they're not second stringer. Apa, apa. Baka players. Okay yun. Apa, apa. Giit ni C, gusto niya ngayong iikot sa mga former Ateneo Reserves ang core ng elite na kapapaluoban rin ng mga holdovers mula sa kanilang D-League team na sina Gilbert Bulawan, Parilyagas at Austria. Well, nag-upisa na yung trying to, to jive themselves. Tapos yung sa September 16, magpapestal tayo. Tapos sa uh, 22, magpapaano kami, team building. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so yun ang ano, immediate plan. Sa ngayon ay pinafinalize pa ng management at coaching staff ng elite ang lineup ng Koponan na kanilang ipaparada sa inaugural season campaign ng Ever Belena franchise sa PBA. Para sa PTV Sports, Ria Arevalo, Telebisyon ng Bayan. Sa boxing, sa wakas ay pinangalanan ng susunod na makakalaban ni Pinoy boxing icon na nito Donaire Jr., Kilalanin natin siya kung sino sa report ng napakasipag na si Sports Re Senior so Radio Senior Correspondent Dennis Principe. Kasado na ang susunod na laban ni World Featherweight Champion Donito Donaire Jr. Isinabi ng ama nito ng si Donito Donaire Sr. na tinanggap na ng kanyang anak ang alok na makalaban ang WBA Super Champion ng parehong dibisyon na si Nicholas Walters ng Jamaica. 
Ayon kay Nito Sr., magsisilbing underguard ang Donaire Walters Bout kay main eventer Jenna D. Golovkin na magdedepensa ng kanyang world middleweight crown kontra Marco Antonio Rubio ng Mexico sa October 18 sa Carson, California. Walang pangamba si Nito Sr. kahit na undefeated at knockout artist si Walters na may unblemished record ng 24-0-20 by knockouts. Uh, ma medyo palay natin na mahirap pero ang ano natin malakas bata pero sa nagiginta ko sa training namin din din sa hapon eh talagang sabi ko pag mahagit lang pag na ano na talaga na mahagit ang kalaman at kukulari sa pagkali at uh, pag uh, no, ano lang na walang mga injuries na mangyayari hindi ako wala akong kaba wala akong hindi ako kaba doon Inamin naman ni Nonito Sr. na nais pa sana niya makakuha ng isang magaan-gaan na laban para sa kanyang anak na noong huling laban nito ay nagtamo ng isang malalim na sugat sa kadiwang mata. Panalo sa scorecard si Dunay rin ng matapos ang laban nito sa 5th round kontra si Piwe Betieka ng South Africa noong May 31 sa Macau dahil lang nasabing kat ay tinamaan ng headbutt. Uh, pwede, pwede. Siyempre kung ako ang... Kung ako ang ano, kung maaari, gusto kong medyo magaan-gaan muna eh. Pero wala namang maaari kang tatag, tatagbuhan dito dahil puro si champion ngayon. So, hindi na natin natin nila na kailangan yung mga lahat na magagawin. Kailangan, kailangan mag, magtagpo. Eh, yun naman talaga ang kailangan sa mga boxing. Kung wala, wala kang iiwasan. Samantalang sinasabing makahugkana ay nagpasigad din si Walters nang patulugin nito sa 5th round si former world champion Vic Darshinian. Para sa telebisyon ng Bayan, Dennis Principe, PTV Sports. Cycling upang mas maihanda ang sarili sa asam na makakopo ng ginto sa paparating na Incheon Asian Games. Dadahi po sa magkasunod na high-level cycling races sa China, si Road Bike Philippines skipper John Mark Galedo. Narito po ang ulat ni Ms. Judith Karingal ng Sports Radio 918. Mabibigyan naman ng high-caliber training para sa kanyang misyon na kumopo ng medalya sa paparating na Incheon Asian Games si top Pinoy rider John Mark Galedo. Kanina ay lumipad na patungong China si Galedo kung saan lalahok ang road bike Philippines sa dalawang magkadikit na torneo katapat ang mga European riders. Ayon kay Road Bike Philippines founder Engineer Bong Suwal, tiyak na mapipiga ng gusto ang gilas ng four-time tour champion sa China events. Magandang oportunidad to para sa mga bata. At uh, meron naman kami dalawang fanis na uh, sasanit sa atin doon. Nandun na sila. At uh, yun ang magpapalakas lalo sa Team 7 level. Aso. Ay, ayun. Labi Spring ikinatuwa ni Suwal ang katotohanan ang Road Bike Philippines lamang ang Asian team na naimbitahan na sumali sa nasabing Chinese races. Dahil dito, tiwala ngayon si Suwal na magagawa ni Galedo na magparamdam sa road race competitions ng Incheon Asia, lalo't sinasabing shoe na sa medalya ang BMX bet na si dating world campaigner Daniel Kaluwag. So far, so good naman. Maganda yung sayo, lalo-lalo si Mac. Kasi nga may pinagahandan sa Asian, Asian game yan eh. Kaya tama-tama itong naging ano niya, uh, punta niya sa China. At uh, adapt na, adapt doon. Isayon niya na rin yan. At uh, palagay natin, eh, palagay ko eh, meron pag-asa tayo makakuha doon sa edyon. Makakabagang sa China ni Galedo ang mga kakamping sina Chris Hoven at Ryan Cayubit at Spanish riders Edgar Nieto at Angel Vasquez. Para sa PTV Sports, Judy Karingal, Sports Radio 918. Sa Mixed Martial Arts. Dalawampot dalawang homegrown Octagon Warriors ang magpapakitang gilas sa misyon na maging first heroes ng inaugural presentation ng laban MMA PXC Provincial Development League sa Lipa City Youth and Cultural Center sa Batangas sa province sa Sabado. Ayon kay event promoter Erwin Tagle, hangad nila na makadiskubre ng mga bagong talento sa mahabang serye ng PXC League na may layunin rin na magbigay ng avenue ang mga fighters mula sa mga kanayunan. Labing isang matches mula sa 125 pound hanggang 155 pound weight classes ang itatampok sa bawat serye ng liga. Para dun sa mga fighters na kulang yung resources sa training, sila makapaganda masyado dahil wala silang 
uh, jiu-jitsu coach or wala silang experience masyado dahil kulang pa yung mga labad. So uh, again, uh, to make up for it, kailangan they have to learn the hard way sometimes. They have to compete para ma- ma-experience sila, ma-realize sila kung ano yung mga kulang, ano yung mga tamang ginagawa nila, ano pa yung mga pwede ka lang gawin. So ngayon, with BXC na uh, backing up this event, Uh, mas maganda ang ilang local ang kanilang exposure, may international exposure pa sila. And then uh, later on, syempre, uh, they get the chance to uh, fight international or dun mo sa PXC main cards. Pero uh, as of the moment, this is like development stage na after all. Samantala, nasa kustodiya na ng mga otoridad ang mga taong itinuturong nasa likod ng pagpaslang kay race car driver Enzo Pastor noong Hunyo. Una pong nasilo ng kapulisan ang, ng pulis pasay na si PO2 Edgar Angel sa isang drug bypass operation sa Libis, Quezon City noong Sabado. Ang paghuli kay Angel ang naging susi naman sa kaso dahil ito ang iningusong asasin ni Pastor. Hindi naman naglao na pinangalanan naman ng businessman na si Domingo de Guzman bilang umano'y mastermind ng krimen. Sa ngayon ay pinagahanap naman ng kapulisan ng biuda ni Pastor na si Dalia Guerrero. Ang gulo pong love triangle ang numero unong tinututukan ngayon ng kapulisan sa naging paglikida sa dating Euro race car campaigner. Samantala, narito naman ang mga tampok na balitang sports sa labas ng bansa. Sa report ni Ms. Cecil Kim Lat ng Sports Radio 918. Lumagda ng contract extension sa Clippers si legendary coach Doc Rivers na magpapanatili sa kanya sa Los Angeles hanggang sa pagtatapos ng 2018-2019 season. Ayon sa Clippers team president Tim Palmer, naging prioridad nila ngayong offseason ng pagtiyak na manatili sa kanilang mahusay na bench tactician. Ang dating head coach ng 2008 NBA champion Boston Celtics na si Rivers ang isa sa mga tinuturong dahilan kung bakit na natiling focus ang Clippers sa kampanya sa nakalipas na season kahit pa binalot ng iskandalo si team owner Donald Sterling. Katunayan, nagawa pang ihatid ni Rivers sa franchise best record na 57 wins against 25 losses ang Clippers noong nakaraang season. Powerhouse Oklahoma City Thunder ang kanilang nakaharap sa second round ng playoffs. Isang slam dunk performance ang ipinamalas ni dating world number one Roger Federer sa kanyang campaign opener sa US Open. Suot ng isang puting sneakers na may logo ng Air Jordan, nagpamalas ng matinding pangis ang five-time US Open champion katapat si Australian Marinko Matosevic. Gamit ang kanyang malalakas na ground strokes, agad na naidispat siya ni Federer si Matosevic, 6-3, 6-4 at 7-6. Matapos ang laro, Inamin ni Federer na higit pa sa ganado ang kanyang naging performance dahil bahagi ng crowd na sumaksi sa kanyang laban ay ang childhood idol na si NBA legend Michael Jordan. Agad namang nagkita sa dugout si na Federer at Jordan na naghudyat pa ng paggawa ng Swiss maestro ng kanyang Instagram account. Sa kabila ng paggawala ni top netter Lina, binitbit naman ni newcomer Peng Shui ang sulo ng liwanag para sa kampanya ng China sa women's side ng US Tennis Open. Katapat ang fourth seed na si Agnieszka Radwanska ng Poland, nagpakilala muli sa mundo si Peng sa pagtala nito ng 6 3 win, ang biggest upset so far sa torneo. Dahil dito, umusad na sa third round si Peng at umaasa siya na mauulit niya ngayong taon ang naging semifinal appearance sa 2005 US Open. At sa motorcycle race, Bagamat sinasabing abot kamay na niya ang 2014 trophy ng MotoGP, tila ayaw pa rin magpakumpiyansa ni Spanish rider Mark Marquez. Balak ng 21-year-old motorcycle sensation na idagdag na sa kanyang sampung Grand Prix collection ngayong taon ang paparating na British leg ng torneo. Ayon kay Marquez, ayaw pa niyang ituring na kanya ang corona ng 2014 season hanggat hindi anya natatapos ang nalalabi pang pitong karera ng taon. Sa kasalukuyan ay katumbas ng tatlong karera na ang lamang ni Marquez sa individual standings kung saan ay 77 points ang namamagitan sa kanila ng pumapangalawang si Danny Pedrosa. Para sa PTV Sports, Cecil Kimla, Telebisyon ng Bayan. Samantala sa isa pong kapapasok na balita, isa pong simple, subalit makabuluhang heroes welcome ang iniahanda po ng Philippine Olympic Committee at ng Philippine Sports Commission sa pagdating po bukas ng ating pong first Olympian na si uh, Luis Gabriel Moreno. 
Si Moreno po ay galing sa matagumpay na kampanya sa nakalipas na Youth Olympic Games kung saan siya po ay kumopo ng gintong medalya. Katandem ang Chinese bet na si Lee Jaman kung saan sila po ang nanaig dyan po sa team event competitions ng archery. Si Moreno po mga kaibigan ay inaasahang uh, bibigyan din po ng uh, parangal ng iba't iba pang mga government officials ng bansa na pamumunuan nga po ni uh, PSC Chairman Richie Garcia. At uh, bukod po dito kay uh, Moreno, makakasama rin po niyang darating dito po sa Pilipinas bukas ng bandang alas 4.45 ng hapon ang iba pang mga kumampanya sa nakalipas na Youth Olympic Games na sina fellow archer Bianca Gutuaco, gymnast Ava Verdeflor, swimmer Roxanne Yu, triathlete Vicky Delio, trackster Zion Nelson, shooter Sheldon Arellano at ang ilan pang mga team officials. Uh, bukod po doon, mga kaibigan, ay may ilan pang mga iniahandaring aktibidad para kay Moreno, ang PSC at ang POC. Subalit, ang magiging highlight po ng pagpupugay sa kanya ay isasabay na doon po sa send-off party para po sa Asian Games Bound Athletes natin sa Setyembre a 5. This is an Olympic event. This is a big event participated in by 202 countries. And it is an Olympic event. You know, in Kaya, Uh, I think those people that understand what this is, is are interested also in giving some kind of uh, honor to, do, to, the, to the achievement of this individual. We'll hold it at the same time as the uh, send-off for the Asian Games uh, contingent to coincide with our first Friday Mass on uh, September 5. Any fits <laughs> Hi, Gong, baby! <laughs> Meron pa Joey Romasanta yun, ah. Anyway, unang sagit sit pa lamang po yan ng ating mga balitang iahatid sa inyo sa ating sports chat. Oo, kasama ang street baller. Hot sauce. Yes. Hot sauce. Eh, i-interviewin po sila ni Hot Banana. Oo, at napakasipag. Ayan. Napakasipag. <laughs> Super senior. Si Hot Banana. <laughs> Dennis Pino. O, yung ano, uh, pagsasampulin natin. Hot Banana. Eh, hot banana eh. Huwag nyo nalagyan ng upuan para magsasample sila. No, yan ang maganda na sa ating next segment. Kasa ang sports chat kasama si Mr. Dennis Principe sa pagbabalik ng PTV Sports. <laughs> It's a uh, special nasabog kan? <laughs> special edition. Alikan <laughs> daw. Special edition of Sports Chat ladies and gentlemen and uh, we'll be having uh, one uh, guest actually who we've been talking about the past couple of weeks and we've been uh, promoting his upcoming uh, A show here in the Philippines. We're talking about the uh, street ballers, no? Na naging guest po natin dito uh, sa atin. And kung merong ang sinasabing, merong nga gilas, merong batang gilas, ito naman, pag nagsama-sama kami, matandang gilas. Okay. Unayin muna natin mga kaibigan yung mga kasama ng ating uh, main uh, guest, yung ating franchise player for this uh, uh, episode. Uh, to my far uh, left is uh, one of the uh, well-known street ballers in the Philippines, His name is Michael uh, Pabligo, no? but he's uh, uh, known really as uh, si Ball Hustler. Ball Hustler, take your ball. Good afternoon, man. Here pa lang ginagawa ng trabaho ni Snow Bado. Say hi, man. Hi. Hi lang talaga sinabi mo. Okay, and uh, to his uh, right is uh, kasama naman ano, nung ating... Uh, Uh, main eventer uh, for today. His name is Victor Martinez. Victor, hello. Yeah. Hi. Court, Frank, Court, Court King. Yes. Hi, everybody. Welcome. And thank you for allowing us to be in the Philippines. Okay. And uh, isa naman sa naging uh, guesting po natin na dito, street baller. Ito po si Lil Wiz. Nino Ventura. Lil Wiz. Good afternoon. Hi, my name is Nino Ventura of Hype Street Ball. And this is our show, Street Ball. All right. And the main man, ladies and gentlemen, really needing no introduction. Street baller, par excellence, hot sauce, hot sauce. Good afternoon. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, hot sauce, number one street ball player in the world. All It's right. going down. Okay, so hot sauce, uh, first of all, you take the mic. And uh, is this the first time here in the Philippines? First time here in the Philippines. Uh, I missed out mm -hmm. uh, when uh, the mixtape tour came. And uh, it was the 05. 0405, you know, I missed out because I, you know, I had a son. Okay. And so you were supposed to be here. Yeah, I was supposed to be here, but uh -huh. you know, I get a lot of fan mail from a lot of my Philippines fans. All and right. They say they need me here, so I made it 
my problem to come here and have fun in the Philippines and to sell out the arena, 10,000 strong. Okay, so so when did you arrive here in the Philippines? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. 11.30 a.m. Okay, and since then, any activity that you've done? Oh, yeah, they nice, has, nice hospitality. Uh, they showed me around. Everybody loves me everywhere I go, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm honored to say thank you for bringing me out. And anything that surprised you since you arrived here in the Philippines? Everybody's happy. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Everybody's happy, and now I'm here. I'm going to make sure... Everybody's going to be happy. And are you aware that every every street here in the Philippines, you know, they have their uh, basketball court? I seen that. I, I had to jump out. They, I seen two little kids today playing barefooted. Streets very wet, nasty, trash everywhere. And, and the passion uh -huh. is, is on a high level out here. And uh, it reminds me of New York. All right. So when I seen the little kids, I had to jump out and play one-on-one -on -one with the kids. Okay. All right. And I will give uh, the opportunity to... Our other uh, guests here for them to speak. First of all, uh, Victor, uh, your first time here also, uh, Victor? This is my second time. Second time, yeah, I was okay. here two years ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And was it basketball related the first yes. time you were here? Yes, uh, uh, inspirational basketball outreaches. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. So, um, a little bit about Court Kings. We, uh, we do it to, uh, for a higher purpose, to uh, give God glory and okay. to reach out to the less unfortunate. So we, we also we do the street ball tours in America, and we also do basketball clinics. Mm -hmm. um, our games, even though they're inspirational, we still receive the uh, the number one play of the year on ESPN. Mm -hmm. uh, out of out of 101 plays, we got the number one play, and it was in May okay. from Hot Sauce and one of our players named Baby LeBron. Yeah, so, and since uh, the first time you came here, yeah. up to this point, uh, have you followed the growth of street ball in, here in the Philippines and? How um, I wasn't familiar with hype, but mm -hmm. then I actually, that's a very good question. Then I, then I started doing more research on streetball and, and hype streetball, Nino, uh, Hustler. They all completely inspired me. Mm -hmm. So I said, that we got to find a way to come back and partner with them because they're doing something absolutely crazy and wonderful for the youth of the Philippines all across the country. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the Hustler, I know you're familiar with the hot sauce. Gano ka importante na nakita mo yung isa sa mga iniidolo mo pagdating sa street balling? Dream come true talaga. Mm -hmm. um, sa dati pinanonood ko lang siya sa mga mixtape DVD. Dreaming lang na makita ko siya. You know, made it na makapunta siya dito. Mm -hmm. So napakasaya kasi mag-work ako. Street ball, game, charity. Kasama ko siya. Mm -hmm. And serving. Mm -hmm. So it's a blessing for me. Wala ka rito last time, ano? nagpunta yung... Yes, yes. Uh, oh. And uh, uh, paano ka naman na ano, na-involved sa streetball? Uh, brother ko. Okay. Pinanood niya ako ng DVD. And so, hot sauce on mixtape volume 3. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Inspired me uh, to practice every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. And ka naman, Lil Wayne. Lil Wiz. Lil Wiz pala. Medyo dikit ka, konti na lang. <laughs> Idol mo. How yeah. does it feel? <laughs> I'm, I'm popular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How is it? You know, mo yung, uh, uh, it's like a dream come true. Uh, I grew up watching his videos, mm -hmm. and I considered him as my streetball hero. I mean, I'm not what I am right now without this guy right uh -huh. here. Because when I woke up in the morning every day, I was practicing and watch his videos, his moves, and then I practice it in garage. Mm -hmm. And then that's where I develop my moves. Mm -hmm. This guy right here. So first time you na meet dito abroad or yes, this first time, time actually. Yes. Okay. All right. So. I think you're more passionate ka about uh, street ball now that you know yeah. you meet in person. Yes, like a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna play ball with him mm -hmm. at Makati Coliseum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And hot sauce. Uh, are you familiar with you know the uh, Philippine basketball landscape? You know about the professional league here. And how familiar are you with uh, with the Philippine basketball? I'm not too familiar, but I know it's, uh, the culture is big out here. Uh -huh. And you know basketball is like I said, it's like the mecca. Mm -hmm. of Asia, you know, out here in the Philippines. So I want to be a part of the, uh, you know, epic history mm -hmm. of, you know, the Philippines. I, wanna, I just want to be a part of it and make all the fans happy. Okay. But what made you so interested about street balling, you know? Uh, have you tried being, a, you know, uh, trying for a pro team before? Or? Nah, I'm just an entertainer. Okay. You know, I... Uh, I get paid for my passion. Mm -hmm. It's what I love to do, and I'm going to continue to do it so I can't do it no more. Mm -hmm. And I'm just travel the world to inspire a lot of kids, mm -hmm. you know, through the, uh, through the grace of God. And how was the idea introduced to you, being a, a street baller? Um, just 
being creative, walking around with the basketball every day, mm-hmm. uh, not be able to play with the best guys on the court. So I just decided to just be creative with the ball and just have fun. And then that fun turned into something serious, and I ended up being good. And uh-huh. I started uh-huh. to be better than some of those guys that, that never wouldn't let me play. And so, so it was something that it was a part, you know. It, it was just a, it was just a passion, something uh-huh. I just like to do. And then it turned to something big. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, I, you know, I inspired a lot of kids around the world, mm-hmm. a lot of adults, uh-huh. you know, a lot of teenagers. And but what was the most touching, probably, or most inspiring activity that you did? You know, that, that really, uh, you know, made you to feel more passionate about it, and you know, uh, more uh, more concerned about the after. After me, you know, after me training my son and uh-huh. and me putting my talent in him and watching him grow and mm-hmm. do the same things I done did and and actually doing them in or you know in the, in the basketball, doing it in real games and uh, at nine years old uh-huh. and I, I look at it and I appreciate everything uh-huh. and I can truly say I'm blessed. Okay, so your show will happen this coming Saturday, the Makati Coliseum. If ever, what will the fans? expect from you and the rest of the guys? Uh, they're going to expect everything they see on YouTube. Mm-hmm. All the videos, they're going to they gonna, they gonna, they gonna get all that. That's what I love to do and that's exactly what they're going to get. They're going to get all the moves, mm-hmm. all the fancy tricks, ankle breakers, okay. making people fall. <laughs> so, <laughs> tell all the fans to bring an extra pair of shoestrings because uh, <laughs> it's going to be real nasty out there. Do you have your official page, your official account on YouTube? Uh, not not on YouTube. I got okay. my Facebook fan page. All right. It is Hot Sauce, H O T space S A U C E Hot Sauce. Okay. And I have my uh, Instagram is Sizman three S I Z Z M A N three. That's where you can find me at. All right. So uh, sample tayo. Can we can we do some sample uh, guys on what to expect this coming uh, Sunday? So how do we start with Hot Sauce probably? Do you want to do some uh, sample or can you introduce basic, a- basic ball handling? Yeah. Basic ball handling. Okay. So, all right. So uh, just give us a sample. The basic ball handling. There you go. Hot sauce. Anong tawag dyan ano? Dilubiz. Specify mo nga. Yung ginagawa niya. Pick up. Okay. Yeah. All right. There you go. One hand lang ano? Right hand. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay naman. Dilubiz. Yeah. Sample. Yeah, our very own, Lil Wiz. Okay, there you go. Are you impressed, boy? Nice, nice, nice. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Whoa. There you go, Lil Wiz. Well, how's your man? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hey. <laughs> All right. Your first time to we'll see them do that uh, hot sauce. They may may jo iba yung kontrata ko eh. Did you think, man? Sing lang tayo eh. Yeah, did you think? Okay, so guys, uh, before we end, maybe you would like to invite them once more. Uh, uh, uh yeah, go ahead, hot sauce. What's up? This is your boy Hot Sauce. Y'all already know what time it is. We about to shut it down. I want everybody in the Philippines to come out. Manila strong. We we doing it very big. I, I flew 24 hours over here. And uh, we're looking for everybody to come out. All my fans, I love you very much. And come out. We're about to put on a great show for you. All right. Thank you yep. very much, uh, Hot Sauce. And yes. it's happening on August 30, 8 p.m. at Makati Coliseum. And if you have any questions, you can log on to facebook.com slash hypesreadball. And also, by the way, uh, before the event at 8 p.m., we also have an open run tryout 2 p.m. at uh, Poblacion Makati Sports Complex. It's actually a chance to play with the best football player in the world. We'll pick top 12 to battle with us in the Makati Coliseum. All right. Thank you very much. Victor? Okay. Um, the king of street ball is here. So if you, have, if you do not have nothing to do, everything you see on TV, everything you see, believe the hype. It, the hype is here. Hot sauce and hype street ball. So. I also like to let everybody know. A lot of people think I'm with and one. I'm uh-huh. not with and one. I'm with Court Kings. All right. I'm with Court Kings now. But you're the one. I'm the one. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, calling all Ball street up, ballers. We have an open run game. 
on Makati Sports Complex near Barangay Poblacion, Makati. Uh, start to ng 2pm hanggang 5pm. Uh, ito yung chance natin para makalaro natin yung number one streetball player in the world. Alright, thank you very much uh, streetballers. Uh, hot sauce in the house. Hot sauce in Manilong Streetball Classic this coming on Saturday, Makati Coliseum 2 PM. And there have my Bigati Punga Sports Chat. This should be Snow Spot. This is not me, Dennis Principe. We'll be back. Hola. <laughs> Uh, hello, welcome back to PTV Sports. And it oh, was uh, really exciting. Uh, we had really a, a very Pare. good guest thing today with hot sauce. Ah, yeah. Yeah, thank you again Pare for coming. Na, Nicole. And hi, Pare I'm mo, Nicole. Pangarap kong maging snow bad way. Eh. Bye. Pagating sa pagsusulat. Ma, Pero ay, hindi sa mga... Yo, man. <laughs> you said the season. Hey, what's up, man? Yes. You got some skills, man. Yeah, thank you. I love you, man. <laughs> yeah. Hope to play ball with you one time, man. Oh, you should come on Saturday. You shoot, man. You shoot. You shoot. Or you just dribble, man. Both. Both. Oh, oh, yeah. That's yeah. great, huh? Right. <laughs> See you around on Saturday, man. It's good. It's good playing. Yeah. Playing at it. Yeah. And yeah. You, you sing? You sing, man? You sing? You, you rap? Can you come back here, man? Come on. Yeah, I want you here, man. Come on. I don't know the song. What song? Any song. And a rap. Can you rap me here? Give him a Bro, sample. Give me a sample. Give yeah. Me a sample. She can sing. Oh, he can rap. Hey, hot sauce. <laughs> hot sauce. Where's hot sauce? <laughs> sample and more. Para mo Come here, man. Come here. I would like you to meet Nicole. Do you know that she sings? Oh, no. I no. never knew she sings. Hey, yeah, she sings. Okay, so <laughs> any, song you any particular right. song you know that you What's guys song? can jam? Uh, All right, uh, man. <laughs> Come on, show me some song, 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 man. Song Come on, man. Uh, hmm. Come on, man. Hmm, I'm thinking. You chicken, I'm man. Sure you chicken. Know what kind of song? <laughs> what kind of music do you listen <laughs> to? Listen to like Whitney Houston. Oh, oh Whitney Houston. Uh, Whitney Houston? Oh. What song do you like? Hmm. You can choose any song you like. I'll just go with you. Uh -huh. you can What's your it. number? What's your number? Come on, say it, hot uh, sauce. What's your number? <laughs> can I call you? <laughs> Any, any song, any song. Any song? Yeah. Where's the ball? Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Come on. <laughs> the ball. Anything you want? Know? So, uh, hey, happy birthday for that. Do you know any songs? Any song? Yeah, go, go, go. Any new one, you know? Anything you want? Give me a sample. Yeah, sample. Give me an idea. Give me an idea. Give me an idea. What song do you like? <laughs> Give me an idea. Yeah. yeah. Hip hop song. Hip hop, hip -hop song. All right. No, go. I'm not that familiar with hip hop songs. Oh, you're not? Yeah. Mm. He can is. You, can you can you put your mic there closer to your mouth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. So any song, you just sing for us. Yeah, go just sing. Let's do it. Come on. Do some freestyle. I'll follow you. I'll follow you. I don't know what it's Freestyle, freestyle. Freestyle. I don't want to be on TV. I'm embarrassed. I don't know. No, <laughs> we're not on TV, man. Turn it off. 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 Come on, sing. Come on, hot sauce. What's Chris Brown song? Chris Brown. Chris Brown, yeah. Chris Brown. Name one, name one. Name one. Chris Brown. Um, would you, would you, would you, would you. Oh, that's the one I know, but that's not a rap, though. Would you, would you. Do you know that one? Don't wake me. Yeah, go. You can do that. I need some music. Some music. You want some music? Don't wake me. Chris Brown. Just one line, just one line. So you can go already, because your friends are waiting for you. All right. All right. Is this the most embarrassing experience for you? No. <laughs> no, not really. Not really. Come on, you, <laughs> had, you had a beat or something. A beat. Sample amo. Wala, wala tayong beat. Anyway, we don't have a beat. Uh, we're ghetto. Say, we're a bit ghetto. Oh, there's a beat. There. You like that beat? Oh. You want to dance like this? Hello, mga natin, hot sauce, ladies and gentlemen, Saturday. Thank you so much, hot sauce, for jamming with us. Thank you so much for being sport. Okay. Oh, si ano pala, princess? Yung anak ni Boss Ambit, birthday ngayon. Happy birthday! Hey, my little sister, princess. Do you want to call our guest? He's a fan of hot sauce. De, pero teka muna. And he wants to raffle tickets for the event on Saturday. Pero bago yan, kontakin lang natin si Judith Karingal. Brad, yung ating Dragon Boat team, nanalo na, ay, pumasok na ko sa final. Nang World Dragon Boat Championships wow. yung po sa Poland. 
At nasa kabilang linya po, mga kaibigan, si Miss Judith Karingal upang ihatid po sa atin ang update sa kampanya ng ating pong Philippine Dragon Boat Team. Judith? Yes, mga maraming salamat. Magandang signalis ang pinamalas ng ating Pinoy Paddlers sa unang araw ng ICF Dragon Boat World Championship sa Poznan, Poland. Bulo sa komunikasyon ng Sports Radio kay Coach Glenn Escoliante, na dumina ng Philippine Sen uh, Senior Team ang 20-man o long boat 500 meter heat kanika nila lamang. Ang mga Pilipino po ay namayani sa tiyempo na 1 minute 50.02 seconds upang talunin ang mga bansang Ukraine, Italy at host Poland. Ang kanilang oras ay mas mabilis pa sa heat 2 top natural at defending champion Russia na may 1 minute 52.88 seconds. Ang final race ay maya maya lamang alas 7 ng gabi Manila time. Nakaschedule din po ngayon na magkaroon pa ng hit sa short load para sa mixed team at sa juniors. Ang 27-man team, kasama po yung apat na mga kababaihan, ay uh, halos mga baguhan nito na na-discover sa nakaraang Philippine National Games. Sila nga lumalahok para sa Team Philippines sa World Dragon Boat Championships. Naghahangat tayo na malagpasan nung pantayan ang six uh, golds at one silver medal harvest natin. Yung huling World Championships sa Italy, dalawang taon na nakakalap, uh, ang nakalilipas. At natapos na rin pala yung juniors sa 500 meters, nanalo po muli tayo. Pumasok tayo sa finals, 2 minutes and 13 seconds, best time ulit tayo. At muli nating tinalo yung defending champion, Russia. Ang finals ng juniors ay sa araw ng uh, bukas. Ito po yung unang pagkakataon para sa mga junior paddlers na mga kano paddlers na lumuhok dito sa world championships. Ang ibig sabihin, dalawang Pilipinas na ngayon or Philippine teams or dalawang pagkakataon na para sa Philippine team na makakuha ng gold medal. Just for today, the opening day of the three-day competition in Poznan, Poland. No? Ano na sinalihan natin dito, Judith? Ano yung ano? Uh, ang, sin ang sasalihan natin dapat sa araw nito ay apat na mga events sa 500 meters. Sa susunod na mga araw, sa 200 meters, apat din na mga events. At sa huling araw, kung hindi ako nakakamalay, 2,000 meters o yung 2K natin, four events din. Okay. Maraming maraming salamat sa iyo, Judith. Thank you, Ms. Judith. Thank you, si Judith Karingal po. Nagulat ng live mula sa Nerve Center ng Sports Radio 918. So, dalawang team na natin yes. ang nasa final ng World Dragon wow, Boat Championship. Okay. Yan. So, kanina, Nicole, you yes. were saying... We'd like to call Float. Float? Yes. Asa yes. si Float? Please come here. Pero payat ito eh. Ba't naging Float? Float, hindi <laughs> ka rito. Maggusto niya tumulong si ano to, sa charity si, on Saturday. Si Straight Edge God. Yes. Uh, yan yung pangalan niya sa Twitter. No, Siya yung madalas din natin magbinsay sa... Hindi ka rito. Yan, yan, yan. He purchased four Para tickets. Para kagigising mo lang, brada. From oh. Hype Street Ball. Ano pangalan mo? Oo. Oh. Yung totoo? Go, your real name. Uh, hmm? Yung totoo? That is a secret. The secret yung pangalan mo? Hmm. Oh. Eh, dapat bibigyan ka namin ng premyo. Wala ka palang pangalan. Pero, <laughs> 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 okay, ano yan? Yung sinasabi mo ni Kun? Um, will he purchase four tickets from uh, Hype? Uh -huh. For their event this Saturday. Let's remind them where I have my own man. Yeah, um, he wants to have them raffled. Uh -huh. He has four questions. So, siyung mananalo ngayon, mag contribute uh -huh. sali kayo sa raffle ngayon. So, si ticket pa nung yes. ticket. They just go mismo dun sa Makati Arena. Uh -huh. Coliseum. Hanapin yung yes. tumukha na to. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, they just go to the ticket booth uh -huh. and give their names. We'll give the names of the winners uh -huh. to Angelo. Okay. Ayan, here are the tickets. Ayan. So, um, Float, anong questions mo para sa ating viewers? And they have to send their answers via Facebook. Mm. So, ngayon yeah. na nasasabutan? Yes. Para bukas na nasasabihin ng winners? Oo, uh -oh, bukas na nasasabihin okay. ng winner. Or um, ngayon. <laughs> oh, number one. Number one. What is the name of the character that Philip Champion or AKA Hot Sauce portrayed in the 2006 motion picture entitled Crossover? Alright, so that's question number one. Second. Um... Okay, second. What is the pseudonym of Nicole's sister who is also a Hype Street Ball member? Third, who is going to host the event of Hot Sauce this August 30, 2014? And number four. Oh, what's your fourth question? Um, may, may I call in Meg? Meg? Oh, yeah, Meg. Meg. Oh, yeah. Come in. Oh, dito ka. Huwag kang mawala sa screen. Diyan ka, ayan. Diyan um, what is the one word that I used to call this quartet of sports supporters? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much, Float. Uh, that's really exciting. So, please do send your answers on Facebook. Uh, we posted, please place your answer here on the Facebook page of PTV Sports. Thank you so much, Float. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Floating the ideas. Float or float? Is it? I think it's float. 
Mm. It's refreshing. So, paano niya kukunin yung premyo? Um, just go to the Colise Makati Coliseum on uh, hindi, Saturday. Hindi, paano mo Saturday. So, ano mo na yung mga sagot dyan, Nicole? Oo. Uh -oh. Okay. Hindi niya sa akin. Alright, so sige. Basta right. pa tayo ng mga messages. Baka may mga gusto sumali. Ah, oh, sige. Ako'y kinikilabutan sa mga pa-premyo natin. Ano? Oo nga like, eh. Wow. Okay, bye so, bye. Let's uh, read from... Facebook, this is from Jomar Plata. Sabi niya, good PM po mga idol. Any updates sa San Mig? Tanong ko lang rin. Pa, kung kailan pa ba ang simula ng practice ng San Mig at makakasama pa ba agad si Pringris sa practice nila after World Cup? Pabati sa Plata family na nanonood ngayon. Thanks. Hello, Plata family. So yes, uh, is there any news about San Mig? Makakasama Pabang agad? Si Pringris sa practice um, after the World Cup. Um, 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 um. Hindi, dahil meron pang ano eh, meron pang Asian Games. Ah, yes, may diba, Asian Games. Diba, kasali siya Asian Games. Mm -hmm. And mid-September, ang alam ko, balik ng practice ng ano eh, ng ano. San Ming. Uh, San Ming Coffee. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tanong right. na natin, sige. Um, by the way, somebody posted an answer here. It's correct si Vin Vin, pero you posted it on the wrong, you shouldn't post a Saan comment. Saan ba You post the comment, your answer on yung, please place your answer here sa Facebook. Pero tama yung sagot mo, Vin Vin. <laughs> so, wait. Lahat sila dyan mag Dapat dun lang. Kasi mahirap pag iba-iba eh. Mm, okay. So, anyway, we have some answers already. Okay, sige. Ano? Yan okay. ba? Tama ba? So, oo, oh, tama yung mga sagot. Ayan o. Oh. Sige, basa. Okay, si so... Ito, si first winner... Teka, okay, kala ko, kala ko bukas sa ano. Bukas na natin i-announce. Bukas na. Ila-like ko na lang yung tayo. tama para alam ko kung sino. Ayun, wow. Oh Dapat my gosh! Tama, si I... Happy birthday din sa dad. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> birthday ng dad, Vinny Santos. Ah, happy birthday! Ayan. Ah, sige. Okay, oh, basa pa? Okay, basa pa tayo. Isang, uh, wow, uh. isang message before we end, before okay. we call it the day. Uh, let's read from Charlie. Charlito, sorry. Uh, good afternoon po mga boss. Babalik po ba si Ato Agustin para po mag-coach sa San Miguel Beerman? Pabati po dito sa Antipolo. Solid po PTV, PTV4 Sports. Kayo ang tunay na number one. Thank you oh, so much, oh, Charlito. Uh, best friends. No. Oh. Ato Agustin daw. Would he go back best to friend. San Miguel Beerman? Wala pa. Walang plano. Wala so, pa. Sarili ano yun yung San Miguel eh. Why wala yun sila? Sinebra muna. Okay, babay na tayo. Sponsor din yung of course, thank you to Mr. A, Miss Tumang ng Amazing Playground. Very successful yung ano nila. Oo. Oh, oh. Kanilang... <laughs> ano ba yan? Snow. Jane is here to hook up watches. Who just held the scene ng Everbanana? Bobbison Jeans, California mm -hmm. View. Uh, Dr. MJ Torres ng Zen Institute, Frank and Marcel Graphics, and of course, my Jewelry Box. Yes, and again, we'd like to thank our guests today, Hot Sauce and the gang from Hype Street. Well, thank you so much for guesting today. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jay Lucero and Mr. Rudy Yu for our hookup watches. Thank you, Mr. Amistum for amazing playground shirts and jackets. Thank you, Amis, for my hoodie. Loving it. Uh, thank you, uh, Mom, Dad, Lola, and my sister. I love you guys so much. And of course, thank you to Mr. Uh, shoot, I forgot. Kaya <laughs> uh, Oh my gosh, I forgot. Oh yes. Thank you, Mr. Giselle de C for our makeup from Everbelena. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Okay na kayo. Okay na. <laughs> okay. Ako naman, my wife, Queenie. I love you, Prince Ian, Prince Zoe, Ate Brenda, Mama Lau, Mami Base, Daddy Dan, Mami G. And kay Giselle de C, Sabado, magkita tayo. Ha? A globe Giselle de Guzman. Ay, Giselle. Giselle. Nangahawa na ako si. <laughs> Giselle de Guzman. Nag-globe. Saturday. Okay, Marlon Sackinger. Okay naman, salamat po sa Barako Balayang Chico na Mrs. George Chua, Michael Johnson Chua, Po Chua, Mr. J. Lian S.D., Ma'am Kera, tsaka kayo po sa Rapika Show. Salamat din po sa Globe Telecom, Mr. Giselle de Guzman. Kita-kita po tayo sa Sabado dyan po sa Bonifacio Global City. At salamat din po sa AXA 360, Mr. Will Ortiz, Philip Go, Louis La Rosa, Jacob Malapas, Arvin Roa, Ryan Uy. At thank you rin sa AXA, sa ano, sa Everbilena, Boss Giselle de C., Ma'am Kita S.C., Siliman C., Kuya Mike Lim, Boss Rudy Yu, Johnson Martinez, at saka kay uh, Pat Aquino at Wilbert Lowa. Si Mr. Rudy at, Ma at uh, Jay Lucero ng Macbeth at saka ng Hookup Watches. At kay Ninong Renato Liri ng Rally Tours and Travel. Salamat din kay Doc MJ ng Zen Institute. At sa uh, Smart Telecom, Boss Pato Gregorio at Mr. Epo. Kipo. Ako po niyo ni Kod Sobad, Wang? Next, yes, Wang. Nicole Ramos? There is Principe. And we shall announce the winners tomorrow. Tomorrow na lang. Yes. Sports Radio! Kalas na tayo. Ang tabahan na po ang news sa 6 isama si Miss Cathy San Gabriel at Ralph Obina. Live po yun sa Radio ng Bayan 738. Narito po ang kanilang mga tampok na balita.